Hey, how's it going everybody? It's your pal on Possible I'm here. Today we're checking out a game called Assembly Planter, which is a game we've played on the channel before. I've been hearing some requests to give it another shot, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, this game is a uh, factory automation game, essentially, but with, uh, you know, farmland. So uh, basically you want to automate the uh, farming tasks, so on and so forth. I'm going to leave everything as they be. I don't know why that brought up there, but it did. Obviously you use WSAD to move around. You currently only have an Orb of Wisdom and a piece of dirt in your inventory. Open your inventory and click the Orb of Wisdom to move it to your hotbar. Is inventory I? It is. Okay, Orb of Wisdom. Do Orb of Wisdom things. There we go. Uh, while the inventory is closed, no Orb of Wisdom is in your hands. Click on Free Grass Spot to place it down. Okay, Orb of Wisdom. Bring us Wisdoms. There, it'll be right there. All right, when you hover over the Orb, you will see option to level up at the cost of a piece of dirt. So we're going to level up. We got one piece of dirt to get us going. You've leveled up and received a hoe. When you hover over your cursor over an item, it will show you the information about the item. Every time you level up using the orb, you unlock new things. Can I put... Okay, so the, the hoe is in my hand. So am I going to do hoey things? I am. I'm doing hoey things. Let me see. Is there anything else I should know here? No? Am I supposed to just hover over here and that makes it good? Can I go like that? I don't know. I imagine I have to hoe things. And maybe I have to give them more dirt to level up. Let's try that. Yeah, we have enough dirt. Let's level up again. There we go. You receive the wooden sieve. Sieves are used to uh, produce seeds from dirt. Use the scroll wheel to switch between items in your inventory. Alternatively, you can click on the items in the hotbar. Use hotkeys 1 through 0. Uh, place, down, place it down in a free grass spot. Uh, okay, so basically I can put the sieve down anywhere we want. We have played this game before. We do have some sort of an idea of what we're doing here. And uh, basically, what, <laughs> this is kind of funny what I thought about this game. It's uh, basically, at the beginning at least, you farm dirt. <laughs> That's all there is to it. You just keep clicking on things and getting yourself some dirt. And then through that dirt, you can uh, sieve to get uh, you know seeds to get yourself started. And eventually you get the seeds from the plants itself. But starting out, you just have to farm dirt. All right, let's go ahead and click on here. Can I click on that? There we go. We'll throw some dirt in there. Come on. Why, why is it? Can I not? Okay. Oh, do I just have to click it? I thought I could. Can I shift? Oh, there we go. Shift click it. I thought there was like a quick way to get that over here. So now we can plant trees. But uh, should we plant trees when we could just farm dirt? I don't know. Farming dirt is so much more exciting, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Let's let's go ahead and actually get us a couple of rows of trees going. And for, for no reason other than aesthetics, I'm going to do it like this. So we're going to have walk paths that we can go by, which we want to actually use because this game, you don't have a character or anything you move around. You're kind of like a omnis omnipotent uh, hand that uses tools. I don't know. Anyway, let's go ahead and plant ourselves some trees here. Can I, am I doing it wrong? Can I, can I clicky? Clicky? Do I have to right click? I don't know why I can't plant them. Uh, I think they should be able to go there. Am I doing something wrong? I don't know. Let's let's actually read what it says here. Uh, right click and open the sieve's inventory. While two inventories are open, you can move them around. Start. Pre maybe I have to, maybe I can't play a seed starting out. No, I, I can. I have to. I have to level. I, yeah, I can't level up again. I have to be able to plant the seed somehow. Why aren't they going down? That seems like a thing. Move some dirt into the sieve to start producing. Maybe I maybe I just need copper seeds. They don't want me to use the, these regular seeds. I have to use copper ones. Do we get copper ones from the dirt like we do with the plant seeds? I haven't gotten any yet. Let's, uh... I'm not able to plant the seeds yet. I'm assuming, you know, we have to wait to unlock the technology to actually plant things. And it's requesting that we actually get seeds uh, to level up. So I'm just going to sit here and click like crazy, get us some dirt, and then uh, I'll, I'll sieve out and we'll see what goes on. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, I got it figured out. I'm a little bit of a derp and I couldn't actually read properly. You have to choose what kind of seeds you can get out of it. It used to be you just got whatever seeds, you know, each tier would give you, you know, like three different types of seeds. Uh, but now you can actually choose what kind of seeds you want, which uh, I'm kind of on the fence about. But uh, for, as for a productivity standpoint, that does seem a better way to go. Uh, let's go ahead and level up because we have all the seeds that we're needing there. So level up. All right, now we need to actually start getting goods from these things. So maybe, well, yeah, there we go. We have the uh, the knife we can use now. So let's start planting some stuff. I said before that I was going to have us have nice rows, but now I lied. Well, we're still going to have rows, but we're, they're going to be alternating. Something like that. Let's get copper. 
There we go. And eventually, you know, this may seem a little bit like a clicker game now. Uh, and you'd be understand it'd be understandable for you to think that, but eventually this is all automated. You know, I, I have to sit here and we have to wait, and there's actually a timer. I can't just click this as soon as possible. You know, I, I can click. I'm clicking. I'm still clicking. Yeah, there's a timer on it. So you can't just, like, click your way through it for, uh, furiously. Uh, you know, the different tiers of uh, items will have different cooldowns on them. So eventually, you know, we'll get, like, a, you know, a, maybe a bronze knife, and then we'll get, like, a steel knife, and then, like, a titanium knife or something. And then, it'll, you know, it'll go, the cooldown from using them will go for, like, nine seconds to, you know, seven seconds to five seconds to one second, you know, that kind of thing. So there's, like, you know, that uh, the hamster wheel that keeps you going. You always want to improve things. But that's not even where the uh, upside of this game really is. The shrinker is when things start really getting interesting. All right, let's see. What do we have? Oh, we have the stuff we need so we can level up again here. Here we go. You've unlocked the crafting table. Uh, place it down and open it. Right-click to access crafting recipes. Right now, you don't need to worry about the hammer icons to the right of every recipe. These will be used for automating things later in the game. When you hover over a recipe, you will see what they need, inputs, and what they produce. When you have all the inputs it takes, you can simply uh, click on a recipe to craft it. Uh, Shift-click as many times as possible. Uh, sorry, Shift-click to make as many as possible. Control to craft 10. The only item you can make right now that you don't have is the wooden compost bin. It will turn biomass into dirt. You can fill it just like you did with the sieve. It takes five biomass to work. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and uh, let's, uh, let's rearrange things a little bit. Let's get our hoe out here. And uh, maybe we'll turn this little area here into our, you know, crafting area. So let's go ahead and... Can I pick this one up? I can't pick it up. Right now, I don't think we have the hammer we need to actually craft things. So I'm going to put that down there. Can I can I go into it? I think, there we go. I right-clicked it. It did a thing, which is good. <laughs> All right, let's see. What do we need here? We need this. Compost bin. Can we build one of those? We can. We did it. We have the technology. So let's go ahead and throw down the compost bin here. Um, yeah, I think I'll put it... I mean, I don't know. It doesn't really matter where I put it, but I want it right near my thing here. So that's all there is to it. We're putting that right there. Now we can throw our biomass in here when I click on it. We have biomass here. I'm going to shift click it. And it'll uh, basically, it'll break down the biomass over time and then give us dirt from it. So that's how we can, you know, stop the whole farming dirt cycle. Eventually we just get dirt from the biomass, which we get from picking up things. Anyway, let's go ahead. We're going to have to do some more planting here. Let's see if there's anything else they want us to do. No, I don't think there's anything else they want us to do. Uh, okay, I have to build a compost to let us level up again. So let's do that. I put it down instead of giving it to the thing to level us up. There we go. All right, now we can level up. All right, now we need small crates. We're actually going to need to plant some things. We're going to need wood for this. So let's get our planting hats on. We'll get us some uh, more trees going here. And get us a little bit more copper growing too. I always find it funny how you grow copper in this game, but you know what? I'm all for it. I like interesting things like that. Just things that make a game feel novel and interesting and weird. All right, let's go ahead and grab our knife so we can start harvesting stuff. I do like it when we get the automation in this game. For me, in games like this, that's where things pick up. That's where things get interesting, and it's like, okay, I can start using my brain. I can start making things. I love making things. I'm always about, you know, like, projects and, like, doing weird things. So that's when you start, like, activating your brain neurons, and it's not just like, okay, let's, like, mindlessly click things and start thinking, okay, how do I how do I make this feed into this, and what materials do I need, and how do, how do I get that line all set up? That's when things start getting interesting. This stuff, to me, starting out is a little bit tedious, usually. All right, let's get in here. We have to make ourselves a small crate. Now, these are how you increase your inventory. For right now, I'll just do the thing to level up. There we go. We're going to get automatoes. Automatoes are an uh, important aspect of uh, leveling up and getting to automation, if I recall correctly. All right, so we have, we have to get iron ingots and all these other things. Do I get... Do I have the increased uh, sieve yet? I think after this, we get like a copper sieve or something, which is like a tier one sieve. But uh, yeah, here it is. Here it is. We can build one of these. So we can get the better, the oh, quote unquote, better seeds out of that. Let um, me see, we can get the hammer. I want the hammer just so I can move stuff around. And let uh, me see, we don't have the plastics yet. That's something we need to work on. I'd like, also like to just knock out a couple of crates for us to actually use, just to increase our inventory space. So let's go ahead and click on, I right click it. I'm just, oh, I think, do I just have to put it down? 
there we go. You don't have to, it doesn't actually place, but it just increases your max inventory size. So uh, before inventory maxed out at 50, now it should be 70, I think. Yeah, it says right here, 70 now. Oh, we can sort? What's it do? It sorts! Yay! Just what you would expect it to do. All right, let's get some more planting done. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Don't we have the better sieve to put down? Quote, unquote, better. Uh, let me see here. I guess we'll throw it here for now. Put you down right there. I really want to make things stink. Can I, can I pick everything up? Yeah, let me pick everything up. There we go. I want to make, like, a nice line of things of where all our stuff are is... All our stuff are <laughs> so we can have a nice organized little area here okay can, can I, I have the hammer picked and I let me pick all this stuff up there we go all right we're gonna put it all down in nice orderly fashion uh, we're gonna have our orb of wisdom and we're gonna have well eventually I'm not gonna have a lot of this stuff out maybe not the crafting tables and stuff uh, the sieves will be automated and all that stuff but for right now I kind of just want it on uh, a little bit organized just for funsies. There we got the sieves there. Compost bin. Crafting station. And I think, yeah, that's all the things we need to have done right now. So let's go ahead and get the hoe out. Re-hoe what we can. Get some more planting going. Uh, we could choose what seeds we want now. What do, we, what do we need for our next level up? We need automatoes and plastic and iron ingots. Well, let's see what we can get going here. We can get automatoes. Yeah, let's, let's get some automatoes going, and then we'll... Oh, you know what? Now you can... Oh, so we don't need the crappy sieve anymore. You can just choose what you want from the big... Uh, the upgraded sieve. And it can do everything from the one before and more. That is new. I like that a lot. Let's pick this one up. We don't we don't need the other ones anymore. I'm going to scoot everything over a little bit. I'm so happy we, f we figured that out. Although, it's kind of wished I could do something with the wooden sieve, so it's not in my inventory. But, you know, for now, that was a good thing to realize. There we go. Let's let's st start using this one. We're going to make automatoes starting out. Let's go ahead in here and throw our dirt in there. There we go. We can uh, do a little bit of planting. Do we have any biomass we could put in here? Not that much. We have a little bit. Let's do planting with what we have. And then we'll uh, get an automato seed thing going. And that's going to be uh, working towards our uh, next part of our uh, quest. All right, you know what? The rest of these, we can have them come out as something else. We need olive seeds as well, so we'll get some olive seeds coming out. We'll get some of these automatoes we have here planted. We'll get two rows of them. There we go. And I'll click on this, because we should have enough olive seeds now. So let's go ahead and get the iron seeds going. And I'll plant these olive seeds. There we go. We'll even have one left over. So let's go ahead and start picking this stuff up. With the wood, if nothing else, we can make crates out of them, which is uh, something we're going to be using. We're going to need more of anyway. Our inventory space for a little while, especially when you get automated, becomes more of a uh, of a limiting factor. Because anything, you know, if you're full inventory and you get more stuff, it just like, you know, obliterates it. It disappears into the ether. So, uh, you know, having the inventory to make stuff out of it. Is pretty useful unless you set up an auto crafting factory that like uses it at the same rate which obviously would be more efficient but I can't tell you that I'm that efficient all right let me see what we have here do we have the level up stuff we need no we need to make iron ingots and plastic which we should be able to do from here so plastic I'll just shift click there we go we only make two of them oh man I thought we made more than that and uh, where's the ingots at do we not have ingots I, oh, I haven't planted the iron seeds yet. I guess we just have more planting we need to do. Let's go ahead back to olive seeds, because I don't have enough of those. And I... Didn't we get plants of some sort? We did get automatoes. Okay, so we have to do a lot more planting for right now. So let's get our iron seeds going. We need a bunch of these. And we're going to need more of the uh, olive seeds than I realize we're going to need. I'll start planting what I have, and hopefully the uh, compost to keep up with my need for them. I'm beginning to see how futile that hope was. All right, I'll, uh, I'll do iron for now, I guess. There we go. Let's start picking this stuff up. Yeah, this stuff is sprouted. It's already... The funny thing is, we even get biomass from the minerals. You know, it's, it's weird enough that you can grow, like, iron and copper, but you even get biomass from them. <laughs> this is pretty funny. It's just, I don't know, something inherently funny about that. Not that it's a bad thing at all. It's, it's a little, you know, ludicrous, but... And, uh, you know, this is a game where things grow in, like, five seconds, you know? So, ludicrousness expected. 
There we go. We're almost done. We're working on it. And then hopefully we'll have enough stuff that we need to get the, uh, the next upgrade here. Uh, let me see here. What we need? Do, 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 do. Here we go. Uh, let's get some more plastic going. That'll definitely be enough plastic. And do we have the ingots we need? Where are the ingots at? Here we go. We pick them up. They, they come up as ingots. So uh, you, you're planting little iron, <laughs> iron nuggets and they come, as, come up as ingots apparently. I love it. All right, let's see. We're going to level up. We got everything we needed there. Now we can make the geo globe things, which are what you use to unlock more areas. So if you unlock the uh, earth orb, this uh, this will allow you to expand the land using the plus tile at the corner, which is uh, this right over here. Just hover, hover over it and click the expand button, which would work if we had a geo globe thing, but we don't. But uh, we have everything we need to make one. And there we go. We'll have this done in like five seconds. And uh, the cool thing, I mean, this costs like exponentially more every time you use it. So next time you use it, it'll take like two. After that, it'll take four or something along those lines. Uh, let's go ahead and expand. Yeah, this time it's going to take two. But as you can see, our entire little uh, farm operation here has opened up a little bit. Have we unlocked better stuff yet? Do we have the better compost? We do have the better compost bin now. So let's go ahead and do that. How it's better than the old one, I don't really know. But I'm, I'm dying to find out. Can I move this thing off my bar? Is there like a, a go away, you're not wanted anymore button? I'm sure there is. I just don't know what it is. But for right now, I guess it's going to stick on my bar for a little while. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's rearrange everything again. Because now, you know what? The uh, I'm going to put stuff this time. I'm going to thinking ahead a little bit. I'm going to put everything we're going to keep down on the bottom here. Uh, because I won't have to remove it every time we expand our farm. It'll just, you know, stay in the same spot. And we'll keep, you know, moving up in the uh, up left direction here. So uh, let's go ahead and put our new composter down. So uh, basically the composters, there's no reason to keep the old versions as far as I understand. They're just more efficient as you go. Uh, let's actually, you know what, let me move that. Let me get the Orb of Wisdom on the end. Because I'm always going to want that Orb of Wisdom down there. Let's get our composter out. And we'll get our copper sieve out. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, we want the crafting table out. And uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and get the rest of the land all ready. Oop. I, I kind of, I, I forgot. I actually want it to be brown. Brown is what we're aiming for here. That means it's hoed and ready to go. All right, let's do it. All right, so now I think we're going to want, like, maybe a little bit of everything, because we're going to want more of those earth globey things, I think. Earth globey things, you good. Max stack size exceeded of what? Do I have too much dirt? I think I have too much dirt. Uh, let me see, what are we going to need a lot of? Right now, I think we're going to need more plastic than we have so let's start doing that and i uh, will go ahead and throw our dirt in here i'm also gonna you know i'm gonna do a little bit of a farming session hold on let me let me, let me do uh let me do trees i know it seems a bit silly to, like i, I want to you know spend all my thing doing trees but you know what you need a you need a lot of inventory space and we just don't have much and for inventory space you pretty much just need wood i mean you, know, you can see it here we can even make the uh the medium crates eventually but uh, these increase it by 110, but these you can just keep pumping them out and you get 10 every time. So right now we can build two of these at least. That's something. But I'd like to make a whole lot of these just to get our inventory up a little bit. There we go, a little bit more inventory. Let's plant some more trees. Let's do it. We're part of Team Trees now. I didn't, I didn't get to be part of the Team Trees movement. I wasn't... Uh, well, I, I guess I could have put something out where... We played a game where we didn't cut down trees or something. I don't know. Maybe I should have played this game and just planted millions of trees. Just set up like a, you know, automation system that planted trees or something. I don't know. But, uh, but now I can just pretend like I'm part of that movement. Except for the fact that I'm also immediately following planting trees by, uh, killing them. Can we, can we just like cut out that part? Nobody has to see that part. Anyway, I'm going to see here. Like I said, I'm going to farm trees just for a minute or two. We'll get our inventory up. And we'll uh, move on to the next little tidbit. Alright, my lust for more inventory size is now being sated because we built like 15 of them or something. So hopefully inventory, uh, you know, max inventory size will be less of an issue now. Let's see what we can do to unlock the next level because we need a uh, earth orb to go to the next level of technology. So what do we need for earth orbs? 
Well, nothing. We have everything we need. Very good. I planned that out. Uh, you guys can't prove otherwise. There we go. We has our Earth Orb now, I think. Maybe? I don't know. Let's see. There we go. We got it. Oh, now we're going to get to the interesting stuff. Now we can make a machine that automatically makes things. Which is good. Which will be the start of our automation empire. But anyway, guys, we're going to end this one here. This game is Assembly Planter. If you guys are interested, I'll have a link down in the description for you to check it out for yourself. If you guys are new to this channel, this is the kind of stuff I do. I like playing uh, factory automation games, tower defense games, and uh, vehicle engineering games. So if you're into stuff like that, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that bell icon so you know when I put out new content, smash that like button, leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.